Hey everyone, welcome to Active Galactic Videos. My name is Taylor and today I will be bringing you five facts about solar flares in under five minutes. So let's get started. A solar flare is a spot on the sun that is brighter and hotter than the area around it. These spots can come and go from the surface of the sun. A slightly less hot spot is called a sunspot. Sunspots are often referred to as dark spots, but they're not really dark. They're just less bright than the rest of the sun's surface. You'd have to adjust the contrast of an image of the sun in order to see sunspots and solar flares. Solar flares and sunspots usually show up in conjunction. Solar flares are the brightening of a spot on the sun, not just at optical wavelengths, but all wavelengths. For this reason, they're best observed outside of Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere blocks many wavelengths of light, including X-rays, radio waves, and the type of light that solar flares are best observed in, ultraviolet light. Solar flares are often, but not always, accompanied by solar prominences and coronal mass ejections. A prominence is a bit of material that extends off the surface of the sun, usually in a big loop. A coronal mass ejection is the expulsion of material from the surface of the sun out into space, and we hope not in the direction of Earth. The production of solar flares is driven by the sun's magnetic field. The sun's magnetic field isn't orderly and stable the way Earth's is. It's highly complex, with field lines constantly looping, contorting, and even breaking and reconnecting. Although we know there's a relationship between solar flares and the sun's magnetic field, the details are not really well understood. The first solar flare ever witnessed was observed by Richard Carrington in 1859. He was able to see the flare at optical wavelengths because it was such an extraordinarily powerful flare, the strongest yet recorded. The flare observed resulted in the solar storm of 1859, also known as the Carrington event. The event caused auroras to be visible as far south as Hawaii and also caused widespread telegraph system failures. If a solar storm this powerful were to hit Earth today, it could knock out power across the globe. Thank you for watching our videos, everyone. Make sure you check out the other videos, like, subscribe, and leave comments for us below. Bye!